All right, all right, all right. All right. Hey, welcome, welcome to Dude RV. I really appreciate you guys stopping by. And you got here just in time. That's right, just in time for a really special video. And this is kind of unique for me. I've not ever done one of these on the channel. Uh, so we're all going to be learning something in the process. But what I'm really excited about is I had a conversation with a gentleman about a year ago, and he was telling me about this new tool, this new platform that he was rolling out, but he hadn't made it to Texas yet. So I got really excited, and uh, he's not here yet, but he's here now. We're talking with Mr. Mark Kemp, the founder, creator, and big guru guy behind campgroundviews.com. Mark, say howdy to the hey, how you doing? audience. How you doing? Glad to be here. Thanks for thanks for sharing. And you're right. It was a year ago that we connected as we were building this technology out. You're like, that's really cool. You don't got anything in Texas. Let's talk then. And and honestly, you've been a, you've been a supporter even during that time as we built this out. And we just finished the capture of a lot of state parks in Texas and a bunch of recreation.gov properties in Texas. Got a few private RV parks, and we're we're bringing this technology to the entire country. Well Tell me a little bit how you came up with this genius idea. Were you were you watching what I was doing? Because you're kind of doing what I'm doing, but you've taken it to a whole nother level. Or did, was this just you woke up one morning and had this light bulb above your head? Yeah. So and our story is back in 2009, my wife and I sold everything we owned. We bought an RV and we went full time. And the original plan was to do it a year, year and a half. And we got out on the road. And anybody who's RV knows, you know, it's awesome, right? You get to go stay in all these cool places. It's amazing. And so we started traveling the country and the, the core problem we found out is that it's actually a real pain in the butt to find an RV park or campground. That's right. You read reviews, you know, and they're five stars and you get there and like, this isn't five stars for me, right? It might've been five stars for the person who left the review, but it's not for me. And so um, we actually started doing what you were doing back in... 2012, we started going around and filming campgrounds and we started a YouTube channel on the website and we've got 3000 campgrounds that we've done like a regular video of a yeah, really short thing. And some people go look at them. people go look at them and they'll say, these are awful. They're 30 seconds long and they're really grainy. And it's like, well, yeah, but remember back in 2012, internet sucks. We had to make them short <laughs> and really low quality. Right. So obviously times have changed. Through that, though, we started working with the virtual tours and the 360 video technology, and it's through that platform that we've identified and solved the problem that all of us face, which is it, yeah, you can find campgrounds, right? You can find a campground where you're going, but you have no idea what you're getting into. And so we wanted to be able to empower campers to go into that campground, virtually tour around it, actually click on the campsite that they're looking at and then book it. And so that's the technology we built. Um, right now we're at 878 of these tours out there for all across the United States. And we're adding um, state parks now. So we've got Arizona state parks, Texas, Louisiana, awesome. Tennessee. And so that's where we're at. Welcome to Texas, man. I'm glad you finally have arrived. I have so many, uh, about every day, I, at least once one video, the, the, uh, one of my videos gets a comment from someone telling me you either need to slow down I want specific information about a campsite. Uh, what site did you just drive by? Tell us the sites. And, and you know, that's not really what I do. What, I'm riding my scooter. I'm more interested in having fun and just kind of showing people the, the global perspective of the campground. Do you want to really waste your time driving across the site to visit that campground? Uh, and what are you going to find when you get there? So mine's more of a a free resource to make a decision as to whether or not you want to camp there whereas you have the ultimate tool for picking the campsite that you really want to be in now tell me a little bit Sorry. Yeah. What I was going to say is you're right. So there's actually a decision process that all of us campers go through, right? First off, it's where, where do we want to go, right? So high level, where are we going? Then the next step is, you know, what campgrounds kind of are, are right for us? And that's exactly what you're doing, right? You're, you're taking them in, you're showing them, you're giving them an, a feel for it. Hey, that just seems kind of cool. The next step is what we're doing, which is, okay, now, which is the best site? Let's jump in here and actually click on the sites and be able to see what sites they are. Can I back my unit in? Can I pull in? How much room do I have for my slide outs? How far am I from the restroom, the water spigots, all those, all those more detailed questions. And the reality is there's no better way to solve that problem than through the visual experience. You can't describe it. You know, you can't describe right. every site, but if you know, you as a camper, me as a camper, if I see a site, I know if it's going to work for me or you, right? We know. And so that visual experience is exactly what we're adding to. 
What I find to be most frustrating is when, when especially using recreation.gov, and they have you know one campsite picture for all of the campsites. <laughs> it's the exact same picture. And I have I have issues with unlevel ground because of the mobility stuff that I'm dealing with. Your technology really helps me, from what I've seen, helps me to determine whether or not I can actually walk in that campsite. So I'm really excited that you made it to Texas. Texas is a huge RVing and camping market, right? There's there's hundreds and hundreds of RV parks and campgrounds in the state of Texas. So there's a lot of people that have been underserved there by our technology. The one the one objection we get from people is like, hey, this is really cool, but you don't have any tours where I'm going to go, you know? And so it's just a content play. We got to go get as many of these campgrounds as possible filmed. And you're not working with just recreation.gov or state parks. You're also doing private campgrounds and, and those RV resorts, right? So that we know whether or not it's actually a resort and not just an abuse of the, of the term. <laughs> That's like the biggest debate in the industry is what do you call resort versus not? And I, and I think some people are like, well, we got a pool, we're a resort. Well, you know, the, it, it, that's, a de that's a loose definition of the term resort yeah. right there. Yeah, well, and the answer is yes, we've started bringing on private parks. So private parks are a tougher bet, right? Because obviously you need to get permission from them and and they're very particular about what they show. And, and so there, there's actually a dangerous part for our technology for some private resorts to your point, because you see what it is. There's no lying with our virtual tours. You, you see all the warts and pimples. So, you know, we have to make sure that the owners understand that. It's a really good thing, though. If you ever see a, a virtual tour of a resort that we've done, you know that that owner knows that you're looking at what they really are. And, and I always give a thumbs up to anybody who's willing to do that because there's a lot of private park owners. And, and I get this response a lot from them. I don't want to show my park. I'm like, well, somebody's going to show up there. They're going to see it. You know, well, yeah, but they're here already. Basically, they're giving me the money. Now they can't back out. So the park owners who are willing to show you what, what they've got before you get there, those are the ones that you know. Per, I prefer to stay at. You prefer to stay at, and everybody else does too. Excellent. Well, Mark, can you give us, can you give us a tour, a spin? Show us how this gizmo works. <laughs> yeah, let me bring it up right here. So these are, this is the website here, it's campgroundviews.com, and you can access this site and use it to search locations all across the United States. For example, if you scroll down, there's a map here and you can click and pull up the state of Texas, and you'll see that we have over 1,300 parks listed within the state of Texas. These are RV parks and campgrounds with all sorts of descriptions on them. Um, you can then click on the virtual tours option here in the menu, and if you're on a mobile device, it's the three lines, click that and you'll see the same links there. We have 878 as of our recording virtual tours. And I'll just drop in. This is a private resort that we just launched their video tour. And the, the virtual tour will load right here. And I'm going to open it up to full screen so you get a full view of this. What it is, it's like Google Street View. So you can grab the screen. <clears throat> I'm grabbing the screen with my mouse. and I'm looking left, right, up or down, right? So just like Google Street View. But then what you also you can do is you can hit play, just like a regular video. And you can sit back, cross your arms, and you are now going on the tour of the park. But you have the power to do this as you're touring, and you have the power to hit pause and take a closer look, right? The other thing we have as part of this technology is up on the top right here, we have an overhead map of the entire campground. These are GPS precise locations of all the campsites within that park. And as a user, you can click on a particular campsite, and the tour will immediately jump to that moment, that site and you're looking directly at that campsite. And as you can see, this information graphic pops up and it tells you what, you know, what details the park wants to tell you about it. And if you wanted to book this site, all you have to do is click visit and it'll take you into the booking engine. And what you're able to see here is the campsite using the virtual tour. You can see like this, I chose this site on purpose because I knew this was an awesome site. There's these two sites down here in the sand and um, you're right on the water. And then the user can then just hit play and continue on the tour as they're going up. Whoops, I have some. They have the ability to look all around. You can see the sites that are coming up in front of you, you know, all those type of things. The other thing we just added um, and literally just added this this last week is the ability if the place has cabins, like in this case they do, you can actually jump into and do a more traditional style virtual tour of that cabin, actually look around the cabin, right? As you can see, this is amazing stuff here to be able to do this as campers, right? That's this is, cool. 
This is the dream, right? This is this tells you everything you need to know about a particular park or campground. And they can't lie. You're, you're seeing everything. You have the ability to see the entire property, exactly what you're going to get into when you get there, how big the sites are, how big are the guests' RVs that are currently there, how much room is there, all those details that are so important to all of us. So those are the virtual tours. We have 878 of them, as I mentioned. The big ones that we have right now are the recreation.gov properties. So this would be like Big Meadows Campground. This is uh, Shenandoah National Park. You can go virtually tour that campground. You can actually see, hey, there's some class A's in this in this uh, National Park campground. Get a feel for how big the roads are and all those type of details. So really an awesome technology for all of us. And you know, our goal is just to bring as many of these to life as possible. And right now, I mean, if I just said that we had 878 of these as, you know, just that's it, people blow their minds. But the fact is there's 18,000 campgrounds that we want to film. And so we've got a small fraction of that. We've got, you know, one eighteenth of it, right? We want to get all 18,000. And so what we ask is that people come over to campground views, check out the technology. And if they like it and they think we're on the right path, I invite you to click on, you'll see the join now button. It'll be up in the top right hand. You'll land on this page. It has a how to, and then the ability to join and become a member and support what we're doing. Awesome. I mean, that's, that's cool. I mean, the, when we first spoke, I, I was just in awe of the amount of data you guys are working with to do this 360 degree filming of a whole campground I mean, the video files i create just riding through on my scooter are substantial but for this oh man my hat's off to you mark we are currently storing um the video files that we have for the 878 are currently four terabytes of data on a, a drive. These virtual tours last month were loaded 50,000 times. So people are using wow. them, right? And what's cool, like these recreation.gov properties, I don't know what date, let me set like a random date. There's a little calendar down here. And when you see these red and green icons, you can actually go ahead and set like a date in the future. And when you update it, some of these sites, if they're available, they will become green. There they go. So they, you notice they popped a green versus red. So that tells you that that particular campsite on the dates that you're looking to stay there is available for your stay. So um, you can jump to it and actually look at it. And then you can click book and go directly into recreation.gov or whatever the reservation site is. And this is a good example to what you said. So recreation.gov has a few photos and there's the photos they have of that site. They have those three photos versus you know, this, the ability to, well, okay. You know, I can, I can pull in a, I could probably put a 20 foot trailer in that site right there. I couldn't go much bigger though. Right. So you right. actually have this, this visual ability to see, you know, where am I at? What sites are around, you know, what's the tree cover, like all those details. That's really, that's what we wanted to provide. We want to get more people to go to more places and to have a, a more enjoyable experience. And we thought that this was a good way to do that. So I do have a question about, go. about your technology, your tool. Is it possible so the Texas State Park System recently added a feature that's really cool, and it's called uh, Camp This Weekend. So if we just wake up Wednesday morning, Thursday morning, we decide we want to go camping this weekend, odds are you, your local parks, at least here in the North Texas area, those are all going to be full. But the, the Camp This Weekend button propagates – campgrounds that have availability so does your technology give us anything to help us with that kind of planning not yet but it's on our radar is what we're doing so what we're able to do with our virtual tours let me let me show you something this is this is kind of where we're going and this is where you know folks that join are really helping us along this path if we go into our virtual tour, we actually have the ability, we haven't um, enabled it yet, but we will have the ability where you as a user say this, let's go up to this campsite right here. Say the user gets up to this campsite and they're really interested, but they're like, you know, I wonder how big that site pad is. We will have the ability where the user could stop right here, take a look at that site and actually click, 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 click and make a little box and get a rough estimate of that size. So that site, that pad is 20 feet long. That user will then eventually have the ability, you could put your 
site your your rv details in i need a 40 foot pad for my rig that's a minimum we will be able to search across the entire inventory and show you the sites that are available you know in either this weekend or whatever date parameters you want to see it in and we'll be able to take you directly to those individual campsites within that's the virtual cool. tours that's, that's where very cool that's where we're going with this thing. And also um, our technology itself is utilizing something called layers. So what you're viewing is a few layers right now. You're viewing the video layer, which is the base layer. You're viewing um, a GPS data layer, which is laying out these icons. And then you're looking at a layer which creates the augmented information. We will eventually have a layer where you can make notes on this. So you're looking at this site, you can actually type in, that site looks pretty awesome and actually have notes uh, for yourself okay, or that you cool. can share with others. So, yeah. That, that way I don't have to have a separate notepad to make notes Yes. Yep. on these individual sites. That's awesome, Mark. Damn. Yeah. It, it's, it's, I mean, as you know, filming parks, it, it, this is not an easy undertaking. No. We have, as I said, you know, we've captured 878. Our plans are, you know, we're talking thousands of parks and you know the, so what we've done is we've actually built an entire technology pipeline underlying this that allows us to do this at scale. Um, you know, one of the big questions that people ask is, hey, how do I submit videos? And, and the answer is, you know, we haven't perfected that process yet to where we can just hand it off to anybody. There's actually a process you have to go to. That being said, though, we do work with people. So, for example, there's a gentleman in Tennessee who said, hey, I love what you're doing. I'm going to be visiting all the Tennessee state parks and I want to send you video. And how do I do that? So we worked with him and he is doing that right now. He's, he's actually this last week and he just finished the capture of all the Tennessee state parks. So if your viewers are out there and like, hey, I want to actually help on this and, and I'm going to be visiting these places, they're welcome to reach out to us and we'd love to talk to them about getting some of this footage for these these public parks that we may not have yet that that's an undertake i i know how much of an undertaking it is because i started pursuing the texas state park mission what is it 2015 16 and i've made it to 86 of the texas state parks of course now the, the ones that are left are way out or two days drive to get there. <laughs> so problem we've been having this is this has been a problem with COVID and just overall public parks in general is random shutdowns. Like it's it's you show we actually just did a shoot through Texas and our and our videographer showed up at parks that the website said they're open, they're taking reservations. He shows up, the gate shut, they're they're closed. And he's like, you know, what it so public park, you know, we love public parks. They're, they're great places, you know, they're spread out, but at the same time. There's, there's some issues with them, right? They're, they're, some of these places are shut down. It's like New Mexico. We're just now capturing New Mexico. So that state was basically locked down all last year. So, you know, as, as an RVer, it's, it's, you, it's an interesting game, especially if you're living in an RV, trying to find places to stay. It's, it's definitely an interesting game. We did it for 12 years. That's why we, we built this tool because we just want to make it easier for people to find sites. Well, I'm, my hat's off to you, man. That's, I'm, I'm very impressed with, with what you're doing, which is why we're having this conversation and I'm sharing it with, with the world, with the Dude RV audience, because I don't want you to make a comment on my video about I needing to slow down on my scooter. <laughs> I want to go fast on the scooter. I don't want to stop and look at each individual site. That's what Mark's job is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were, we did the videos like you for, you know, we did 3000 of them, right? So we, we've got those and we got the same comments like, Hey, you know, you didn't show these sites. You didn't show this angle or the, the, the reality is, is all of us campers are different. All of our needs are different. All of our wants are different. And the reality is like, you can make great videos, but you're not, you, your video is great for most people, but there's a few people who it's not great for, right. right? So everybody's different and it's just a reality. And so, you know, all we're trying to do is fill that gap, you know, and, and provide these tools. And even we get hate mail over these tools. Oh, you know, I, I don't know. I get random stuff. Like it's, it's usually the hate mail is this sucks because you don't have tours of these parks that I wanted to go to. I'm like, well, yeah, there's only so much time in the day please contact that park and let them know you want this because, you know, we're, we're trying our best to get, get in front of them too. And, you know, it's just, it's a process that we're, we're building up here. And, you know, in the end, we're all campers, you know, it, it, even if you have a crappy campsite, it's better than nothing. Right. So in the end, that's, that's kind of the end, end be all is let's go camping. But, you know, I just want to make the process a little easier to find a campsite. Can, can you touch briefly on uh, the packages that you have available? How, how much yes. is it going to cost me, Mark? That's, you know, that's the, the, the question that everybody's going to ask. How much I got to cough up, Mark? 
So where we have three options right now. One is four bucks. That gets you access to all the virtual tours for four dollars. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a gallon of gas, or, or I guess it's less than a gallon of gas now. Uh, four less, bucks. Less, less definitely less than a gallon of diesel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So four bucks gets you access for a week. You can view all the virtual tours for a week. We have a $55 option, which gets you similar access, but for six months, um, where I would encourage your members to join is at the $99 level. And we'll drop a coupon code for your members only in the description on this video and, and wherever you want to put it so that they can get a discount off that. I ask okay. that you join for a year. The money literally goes into helping us do this. You know, I'm not driving around in a Ferrari or anything like this. We're, we're using this money to, to continue building the technology. So I ask you to join for a year. That money goes to make more of these videos but if if the the bank account doesn't allow for the year you you do have smaller lower price options yep. that yep. and uh, your coupon code will be good for all of them so you even get a discount oh. on the four dollar option so yeah your, your coupon code is is the smoking coupon code so yeah wow <laughs> okay so the discount off of a four dollar membership that how can you say no to that? <laughs> I don't like, think you can. <laughs> that's, you're going to be paying less for the membership than you would a, a cup of coffee at, at the name brand coffee shop. Exactly. That's awesome. Exactly. Thank, and that's, that's that. designed. Yeah. And it's designed for, you know, when you think about like recreation.gov properties, we have like 870 of them that are live right now. A lot of the campers that go to those places, they go once a year, right? They're going on that one time camping trip. They don't want to pay. They're not going to pay $55, not going to pay a hundred dollars, but they'll pay four bucks to make their trip a little bit better. And so that's why we've got those different prices. So at a minimum, if you want to try it out, four bucks, try it out, check out the technology, know what we're doing. And if you like it, we ask that you do join for a longer period of time. You'll get some email updates from us. You'll be the first one to know about a special deals. Like for example, um, this is what we're just announcing this week. We just closed a deal with the state of Arizona. We'll be capturing 250 locations within the state of Arizona over the next year and a half. We've got 40 of them live right now. And these are, awesome. these are non-state properties. So private RV parks, um, campgrounds within the state of Arizona. Arizona. So we are working our tails off to bring more and more of these to you. And I, I, I'm truly grateful that you're doing this, that, that you've taken this under, I mean, this is just a huge undertaking. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Every time I, I, I look at what you're doing and I think about what goes in to what I do and, and you've taken it to a, a whole nother level and that just, man, thank you for doing that. Cause that, that wow. definitely takes a, a level of commitment to get to that that level of production that you have yeah is there anything else you want to tell us mark yeah so you know you think about rving and camping our, our industry is has exploded with participants due to covid right you, you've seen it there's so many more people out camping and enjoying it our goal is to really you know some people are like ah it's making things expensive the sites aren't available the reality is is that we can accommodate all these people we just need to give them better information on it so that, that'll make it happen. I'm sorry, you screwed, you screwed me up there. <laughs> I'm getting some video footage of the video. <laughs> I thought you were showing me something. Yeah. So as you can see. Uh, different angles there, Mark. <laughs> you know, we appreciate Do It RV. You, you've been a supporter for a long time. You definitely see the value of it. You know, all I ask is that your, your viewers take a look at what we're doing. If you like it, join. And, and we'll continue to bring value to you. That's awesome, Mark. I want to thank you for the opportunity to have this conversation. And, and I'm so excited that you, you finally made it to Texas because I need your help, man. <laughs> I can't keep up. <laughs> I know yeah, you know, lots and, of people we... telling me to slow down on the scooter. And I, I, Little Red doesn't like to go slow. <laughs> you know, it's it's you can't please everybody all the time, but you can provide a good service and you do, you know, we connected last year. I saw what you're doing. I said, Hey, this is cool. This is what we've done. You know, it, it works. It helps any, any bit of information we can get as campers that helps us make a better decision, have a better time is useful. And, and anybody who's spent any time online trying to find information about a campground knows what a pain it is, right? You just, you don't know. So the visual experience, you're on the right path with it. I think we're on the right path with it. We just continue doing that. Um, and when this video goes up, those Texas state parks we just captured will not be live. We're, it's now in the production queue. We're working on those to bring those live just so, so everybody know, you know, I don't get a bunch of emails. Hey, you said you got a bunch of stuff in Texas. We do. They're in production. They'll be coming out over time. So 
So do you have an, a, a best guesstimate on when we're going to start seeing the Texas State Parks show up in your system? Uh, my guess would be um, definitely by in the next two to three months. So we are actually just now getting that footage from the videographer now. So we have to upload that, start processing it, get the systems. The other thing we need to do is we got to get the integration with the Texas State Park system so that we can show the availability. Um, so there's a little bit of, of legwork that has to happen on our end to, to make it happen, but it's definitely, you know, a few things will happen. If, if your viewers from Texas are, are coming at us and knocking on the door and saying, hey, I'm interested in this, that's going to be a good thing because, you know, it helps us kind of prioritize that over the other right. areas that, that we're working on. So by all means, um, let us know you want this for these parks and we'll continue to bring it to you. Excellent. Well, Mark, I, I think I've run out of questions for you. Um, <laughs> You have any questions for me? So what are you doing next? What's coming up in your life? Where are you going this summer? What are you doing? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm sitting in mom's driveway, visiting with her for a couple of days. And then I'm headed east because uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of this. Early in the year, we uh, were fortunate enough to find 10 acres of forest in East Texas, that was total raw land. It's been a deer lease for the last hundred years, and they divided up that big. I don't know, it was like two hundred acres. So we have ten acres of East Texas. It's a post oak savanna. So most people, when they think East Texas, they're thinking of big, tall, piney woods. Our, we're in the post oak savanna, so we've got a lot of oak trees. Uh, we've cleared out an acre. We'll be building Tranquility Base. <laughs> the, yeah, so how long have you been you've been full-timer for how long or, or have you been a full-timer we're, we're not full-time part-time yeah uh yappy was has been in the she's a real estate professional and so typically when you're in real estate you get tied to geography yeah yep. because it's, it's hard to list houses if you're driving all over the place well she's now moved into a different capacity with a virtual real estate company she's so she's one of the brokers for the state of texas for this virtual entity which frees us up from geography yeah and now that we've that starlink is actually a real thing we can have internet wherever we are in the northern hemisphere so she can work virtually now so that's kind of the direction we're we're looking to get i don't know if we're going to do the completely full time but we're going to build the barn rv garage so the rv's in the living room <laughs> that's cool <laughs> so we don't have to unload the rv we just open the door we went full we went full time in 2009 and at that time the only internet you had was a usb stick much like this little memory card reader um, that you plugged into your computer and had 3G connections. So the connectivity that RVers have today, um, like I would have drooled over back then, but connectivity is the thing that's unlocking a lot of people. So there's a whole bunch of new young people coming into the industry now who are able to work virtually. So it's an exciting time to be doing what you're doing. And, um, you know, there's also a lot of people doing exactly what you're doing, buying a piece of property that they can build a home base on and travel to and from. So I love it. You know, I'm looking forward to you sharing those videos of, of your build out as you do this project. I'm kind of, I don't know if I'm going to do that as a, a video series on this channel or if I should probably maybe start a, a separate channel. Do vote that's, right now. Hey, everybody, what do you want him to do? Do you want him to start his own channel for the build out or do the videos here? Hey, that's, there you that's, go. That's great, Mark. I appreciate that. <laughs> We're asking the audience, what do yeah. you guys want? Because uh, it is RV related, but it's not travel and it's not the do typical dude RV experience. So y'all tell me, what, what are we going to do? <laughs> well, Mark, I know you've got other folks that you've got to talk to, and I know you've got a whole lot of data you got to deal with because I want you to get Texas opened up sooner rather than later. So I'm going to let you go work on that, and I'm going to go get ready to go head, head to East Texas. Well, I appreciate your time today. It's nice to meet all of you. And by all means, please check us out at campgroundviews.com. And if you're, you're so willing, we'd love to have you as members. All right. And, and you, you got to use y'all at least once before you go, Mark. So wh <laughs> what are we going to say? Y'all come back now. You hear, right? All right. Y'all right, come, come back on, now. Fine. You hear? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mark. Have a great day. Hey, I appreciate y'all staying with me to this point. 
I know Mark is grateful too. If you found some interest in the Campground Views platform, and I, I think it's fantastic what he's doing. He, he's taking my, my, what I do with scooter tours to a whole nother level, and I really think it is a fantastic value. The link is in the, in the, in the card up. The link is in the card above and in the description below. Remember to use the code DUDERV to get your 10% discount. That'll be good for six months from the date that this video airs on any package. Dude RV is your code? Is that smoking hot code? Hey, I do appreciate it. As I said, thank you so much. If you've not already, I'd really be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you, I'm most honored. And for my patrons, it is most appreciated. Thank you. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear? I'll see you camping.